everyone, thank you for watching. I am Mr. John, and this is AK Dragonfish 3D. Today, I made some paracord lures. Paracord, uh, also known as 550 cord to some. I made some bucktails and various different types and sizes. Some bucktails. And I made a hoochie using paracord. So, hope this video inspires you. Let's get to it. So, earlier, I was goofing around with some paracord and some jigs. And I said, I thought, how are you going to make some bucktail jigs? So, I gave them my all. I started with this one. It's kind of ugly, gaudy. And we'll, just, we'll just go down the line here. Right? So then I got this one here, I got a smaller jig, and again, it's kind of gaudy at best here. And you know what? Blackhead, white, white buck, I think it'll work. And then larger version, again, blackhead, white buck, so I think it'll work. Then went a little, one step further, and actually tore the paracord apart for a couple. Went, uh, got out some, some, uh, some braid here, and went white head, yellow body, white buck, and then went red head, yellow body, orange buck, right? But then I got to thinking, well, what about making a hoochie? As I was tearing these apart here... I noticed it started to almost look a little bit like one of these. And, and even though I have plenty of these to work with, plenty of these hoochies to work with, how can I make one of these out of this? And that's what I'm going to film tonight. Idea, right? So I'm going to take the threading out and take the inner, inner, inner workings out. And I'm just going to pick this apart like this. Yeah? I'm just kind of unbraid the unbraid the paracord uh, but the intent here is to make it squid like so I'm gonna unbraid a whole bunch of this and just keep pulling it apart like this from the middle like this and then pull it apart this way and this way and I'm gonna keep going don't mind the birds in the back it's uh, right around sunset Despite it being 9 o'clock, it's still rather bright outside, or 8.30. 8.30 at night, on April the 4th in Fairbanks, Alaska, it's very bright outside, still. So we're just going to pull this apart like this, right? And as you can tell, it's already starting to, to take that shape. It's already starting to take that shape, so we're going to keep going. Set the white aside for other purposes here. All right. Oh, now the minute I say something, the bird shut up. Go figure. I'm just going to keep just picking it apart, separating it out, going left and right respectively. So it's got the, the two tails going there. And once I feel I've got a long enough body here, I think I've got a long enough body here, but we're going to check it out. So now we're going to take the other end, we're going to widen it out, tube it out a bit, and right, get a lighter, we're going to melt it down. Okay, so that way it's tube, so essentially it's this. Okay. Down a little bit, did the whole Chinese finger trap thing with it. That, there you go, right? It's like a massive bucktail. It's like a massive bucktail. So now, here we are with it put all together. So, I got a snell hook. I'll just kind of pull it apart to break it down. I have a snell hook here. I have the the paracord squid that I made. I put some beads on the inside, just some tiny beads. So it has some semblance of a body. 
This allows it to go up and down respectively. And if you notice, the squid and the paracord kind of kind of go hand in hand here. I've got the double snow going for the tail, right? And then I just put white beads, some pearl beads, and a reclaimed spinner that I had doctored up in a previous video with some new flashy, flashy flash. So there we go. Gave it some leader all the way down to about an, arm, about an arm's length, the wingspan, all the way down to a swivel. So there we have it. There's the completed paracord, paracord hoochie setup. And uh, this could this could easily be retwisted so the hooks are a little more in line with each other. For the sake of argument. Joys of snow hooks. Angle figure. So again, snow hooks. The pair cord squid with some, some tiny beads on the inside to be the body. Some big beads with the swivel. And there you have it. So, I hope you found this enjoyable and entertaining and informative. And I look forward to fishing. And I hope you do too. With Paracord. Alright, have a good one. And remember, fishing is life. For everything else, there's coffee.